that also is very heavily involved in a community, um, an organization called the Hope Project. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest today. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, definitely. So as I mentioned, you're an organization that deals with the community, um, really especially with the youth. So why don't each one of you introduce yourselves um, and talk about what your organization does? Sure, I'll be happy to start. Um, my name is Raymond Bell, and I'm the program manager for the project. Okay. Um, primarily, the, the whole project is a pilot effort. It's a training program to work with young people ages 18 to 25 who, for the most part, are socially or economically disadvantaged, and we're preparing them for a very unique opportunity. Um, a six-month program to teach young people how to become help desk and application support specialists. And what we decided to do was find an industry for young people that had decided they were not going to go off to college and the military wasn't an option for them. They still wanted a career that was um, that gave them the opportunity to have a, an above-average income um, and with an opportunity for growth. So we decided to look at a career as an um, IT professional and the area of focus is going to be help desk and application support. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. What about you? Okay. My name is Derek Robinson. I am uh, the Director of Community Outreach. Mm -hmm. uh, my responsibility is basically introducing a uh, program to the uh, younger people in the uh, community. Mm -hmm. uh, basically letting them know about our goals and our objectives with uh, the whole project. Oh, okay. great. I'm Donnie Wright, the assistant program manager, and basically what I do is I assist in building community relationships and partnerships with government organizations and other um, the other nonprofits. Okay, great. Hi, I'm Sophia Mason. I'm the registration volunteer coordinator, and my responsibility is that I will be the beginning and the end person that the participants will meet and speak with, and I will be the one that's conducting the interviews to qualify the candidates for the program. But let's talk about the inner city sure. youth and, and what's going on and why it's such a need for a program like this. What, what do we see going on in the community? Well, um, I think what has happened